Hello, my friends, and welcome again to the exercises. So, in exercise number three, we are asked to write a Kotlin program that checks the position of a 3D point with respect to the three axes. So, we need to create a program that checks for a point on which plane it is on x uh, y plane x z plane y z plane or a, an ordinary point for that we need to create a 3d point how to create a 3d point we have three things to uh, enter to enter them so we are going to use triple this is the trick so val uh, I can name it as and pass the three variables x, y, and z because I need to check them. Okay, so it is of type triple and I'm making the one. I will pass 10 and I will pass the zero at the third variable. So I create a tuple of x, y, z variables and i need to check if this triple is uh, on which axis okay for that i will use a when expression when th this when expression i can pass here the the triple but it is directly using the variables so since x, y, z, since I write it like this way, I am declaring a global variable x, y, z and is putting them inside a triple. Now I can use x as a separate variable. Okay, you see, guys, this is the power of a Kotlin. If x equal equal to y and y equal equal to z, this will Re uh, result in print ln x equal to y x equal to y equal to z okay now if z equal to zero equal equal to zero In this case go and print ln that it is on on the x y plane if y equal zero this will result in printing ln a message telling us that this point on the x z plane or axis okay if x equal equal to zero this will result in print ln on the y z plane okay else it is an ordinary point so print ln nothing special or ordinary point ordinary point okay this is the program that will check the relationship of this uh, top a triple of 3d uh, point related to the axis and in it is on x y plane because the, the z axis is zero so it is on x y plane let me check if it is zero here and if we have this number it will result in yz i think yes it is on yz plane and so on so in this way we have checked the point uh, and its relationship with to the axis
Okay, so let's move to the uh, next and uh, next exercises. So I hope you benefit from our exercises and you write, rate us five stars in Udemy to support us.